Hi. Welcome back. We often cross these words Google Scholar, Scopus Author ID, Publons or Researcher ID, or Sedit and Research Gate. In this video, we will try to explain each of them. We use the information provided by service providers. Every researcher must have these IDs to monitor your research progress. To receive more information about research please subscribe our channel. If you have any queries or comments, please post it in the comment section. Every researcher must have these IDs to monitor your research progress. Follow this sequence to create easily all the profiles. First let us see how to create Google Scholar Research Profile. Open the page https colon slash slash scholar dot google dot com slash. Click sign in on top right corner. Using your Gmail address and login to Google Scholar Research Profile. Click My Profile. Fill these fields. In email box, please use an email address at your institution, for example, your name at mit.edu, or leave this field blank. After filling these fields click Next. Now, try searching for your name, article titles, co-authors, or topical keywords. You can find your article in the results. Please click the checkbox against your articles. Then click the Next as shown. Now in setting choose the option as per your wish. Now you can see your research profile. Manually also you can add your research articles. You can find your metrics on the right side. You may know your citation count, H index and I10 index metrics. Individual article citation count also you may know it. Even you can check who's citing your publications. Google Scholar provides a simple way to broadly search for scholarly literature. From one place, you can search across many disciplines and sources, articles, theses, books, abstracts and court opinions, from academic publishers, professional societies, online repositories, universities and other websites. Google Scholar helps you find relevant work across the world of scholarly research. The following are the features of Google Scholar. That is, search all scholarly literature from one convenient place. Explore related works, citations, authors, and publications. Locate the complete document through your library or on the web. Keep up with recent developments in any area of research. Check who's citing your publications, create a public author profile. Let us see how our documents ranked in Google Scholar. Google Scholar aims to rank documents the way researchers do, weighing the full text of each document, where it was published, who it was written by, as well as how often and how recently it has been cited in other scholarly literature. Google Scholar profiles provide a simple way for authors to showcase their academic publications. You can check who is citing your articles, graph citations over time, and compute several citation metrics. You can also make your profile public, so that it may appear in Google Scholar results when people search for your name, for example, Richard Feynman. Best of all, it's quick to set up and simple to maintain, even if you have written hundreds of articles, and even if your name is shared by several different scholars. You can add groups of related articles, not just one article at a time, and your citation metrics are computed and updated automatically as Google Scholar finds new citations to your work on the web. You can choose to have your list of articles updated automatically or review the updates yourself, or to manually update your articles at any time. Now we will see how to create ORCID ID. You may open https colon slash slash orcid.org slash webpage. Click sign in on the top right corner. You can choose any of these options or direct registration also you can do. Now I will select the Google sign in option. Now you can add your employment, educational qualification details. Invited position details that is an invited non-employment affiliation, for example honorary fellow, guest researcher, emeritus professor. 
membership details that is membership in a society or association. It does not include honorary memberships and fellowships. Funding and your research article detail, etc. The research details can be done manually or using the reference management software formats like Bibtex. Top left side corner you can find your ORSA did. This it is useful whenever you log into the reputed publishers like IEEE, Springer, Elsevier, etc. In these web pages, you can directly load your profile details to their database, using ORSA login, as like what we did during the starting using Google login ID. This will ease your job during the submission of your article. The ORSA did, a unique, persistent identifier free of charge to researchers. A set of application programming interfaces, APIs, as well as the services and support of communities of practice that enable interoperability between an ORSID record and member organizations so researchers can choose to allow connection of their ID with their affiliations and contributions. Benefits for the researchers are You will enjoy these benefits with your ORSID ID, you will be distinguished from every other researcher, even researchers who share your same name. Your research outputs and activities will be correctly attributed to you. Your contributions and affiliations will be reliably and easily connected to you. You will save time when filling out forms. You will enjoy improved discoverability and recognition. You will be able to connect your record to a growing number of institutions, funders, and publishers. Your ORSID record is yours, for free, forever. Now let us see about Publons. Use Publons to track your publications, citation metrics, peer reviews, and journal editing work in a single, easy-to-maintain profile. All your publications, instantly imported from Web of Science, ORCID, or your bibliographic reference manager, for example and note or mentally. Trusted citation metrics, automatically imported from the Web of Science core collection. Correct author attribution, with your unique researcher ID automatically added to the publications you claim in Web of Science collections. Your verified peer review and journal editing history, powered by partnerships with thousands of scholarly journals. Publon CV summarizing your scholarly impact as an author, editor and peer reviewer. Open the web page https colon slash slash publons.com slash about slash home slash on the top right corner click login. Here you can log in using your LinkedIn account, Google account, ORCID account, etc. If you use ORCID account created earlier, all your research profile details will be imported here. That is all your publication information can be imported here. This Publons is maintained by Web of Science. Here you can track your citations, you can manage your reviewed article information, and many more features you can enjoy. Once you complete the review process you can forward the review thanking mail to this mail ID. Reviews at publons.com. Your reviewed article information will be verified and added under your profile. In the similar way create your ResearchGate profile. The ResearchGate is the place where you can increase the visibility of your article and also you can interact with researchers. Scopus author it will be generated once you publish an article in any of the Scopus index journal. That you can find under author search option. Thank you for watching and subscribing our channel. Happy learning!